Green Netball Series has wrapped for 2021. The Silver Ferns, they take out the series, but tonight it was the men's. The Aotearoa men's team taking the win 57 to 53. It was a tight contest, Crews. They looked well drew, drilled, they looked tidy, they had their connections, and they deserved the win. They did, and I, I think what's very impressive is that they held on to that lead right, right at the very end. The Silver Ferns were coming back. I think they got within six in that last quarter, but full credit to the men. They just put in that performance that they really wanted right from the get-go. And the Silver Ferns, Adine, made lots of changes. Anyone that stand out for you over the course of the three tests? Tiana Matura, I think, you know, the way she had impact when she came on at different times, Grace Nweke as well, but also Shannon Saunders. I thought she was had impact. So I think a number of players stood up and made some really tough decisions ahead for Nolene and Des mm -hmm. when it comes to looking ahead to selections for possibly the Tour to England. Well, a player that had impact for the men's team, Victor Godsmark white Boy, he was impressive tonight. He finished on an MVP performance. Very vocal and pretty good for a fossil. <laughs> very good for a fossil. Very much led by example down in that goalkeeper position. Just wasn't afraid to hunt the ball. He was getting tips here and there, causing havoc. I think the Silver Ferns rotated every single shooter, and that's full credit to him and Jaron Tainui there. And also Michael Clark, his defensive partner. But super impressive from him tonight. Is that the last we see of him? I'm not sure, but if it is, what a fantastic performance to go out on. Yeah, some great depth in the in the men's team for sure. Well, depth, talking about depth, depth in the midcourt for the Silver Ferns, Claire Kirsten was one of many that took the court, um, was really solid today, took on some big hits. She took hits throughout this whole series. Often she was on the floor, but she was hustling, she was gritty. She really made sure she made it hard for those middies to hit the circle edge. And OK, tonight maybe the in-circle defence didn't pick up as much ball, but previous matches they'd really forced that ball high and given opportunities for their in-circle defence. So I think she is one of the ones that also would have impressed Knowles. Well, the men's, they won three quarters. The Silver Ferns, they took out the last quarter. What do you make of those stats, Adine? Well, what I've made is the consistent shooting stats we've seen from the men, and particularly Gal Dard. He's been outstanding across this entire series. But I think the stats also show, in general, the improvement that Cruz talked about from each match. They've reduced the turnovers. They've upped the intercepts. They've kept those penalties at a better rate. So overall, it's just shown that consistent improvement. And we saw lots of the shooting is out on court four, in fact, today for the uh, for the Silver Ferns crews. And Tiana Matoro, good numbers, 77, but Grace Dwecky, she always performs 84%. Yeah, 78% in total for the Silver Ferns, probably not as what they wanted. I mean, if we go to the, uh, the New Zealand Aotearoa men's, 90% for them. Jay Gilder was impressive, and as I talked about, Ben Smith probably didn't have the highest stats, but definitely brought a new dynamic to that shooting circle. So the results over the last three nights, it's been a quick turnaround. The Silver Ferns, they won the last two, and the men, they got there in the end, taking out the final test, 57-53. That's a wrap for 2021. We'll see you next year.